Hello and welcome to this video on Business and Entrepreneurship Education Grade 8. Today we'll look at Unit 2 which is on Business Organizations. The learning objectives of this unit are Define a business organization Define a sole trader Identify the features of a sole trading business Define a partnership Identify the features of a partnership business. Compare advantages and disadvantages of a sole trader and a partnership business. And choose between a sole trader or a partnership business. What is a business organization? A business organization is an enterprise which is set up by entrepreneurs to produce goods and services. An entrepreneur's aim is to make profit. There are two main forms of business organizations which are sole trader and partnership. What is a sole trader? A sole trading business is also called a one-man business. The sole trader is known as a sole proprietor. In a sole trading business, there is one owner who is a sole proprietor. Now, let us see some examples of a sole trader. Shopkeeper fruit seller and mechanic. Let us see some features of a sole trader. The first feature is only one owner. That is, there is only one person who will own and control the business. He will also carry out almost all activities of the business. Another feature is that the owner invests capital. Only the sole trader will invest capital into the business. The owner bears all risk. Risk is the possibility of making loss instead of profit. Only the sole trader will bear all the risk. The owner keeps all profits. Only the sole trader will enjoy all the profits of the business. Also, the sole trader faces unlimited liability. What is unlimited liability? It is where the owner's personal belongings are at risk. In case of bankruptcy, the owner will have to sell his personal belongings to pay off the debts. Advantages of a sole trader Here are some advantages of a sole trader. Firstly, it is easy to set up. Also, Little capital is required to set up the business. All profits belongs to the owner. The sole trader takes all decisions by himself. And it is simple to operate. Disadvantages of a sole trader. Here are some difficulties faced by a sole trader. Lack of capital to expand. Suffers from unlimited liability. Lack of continuity. That is, if the owner dies, the business dies. Takes all responsibilities alone. And bears all risk alone. Another form of business organization is partnership. 
A partnership is owned and controlled by more than one person. A partnership consists of two or more people who are known as partners. Partners contribute capital and share profit or loss. In a partnership, there are two or more owners who are called partners. Some examples of partnership are two bakers join together to open a pastry shop. Some doctors join together to open a clinic. And two friends join together to open a supermarket. Let us see how to set up a partnership. To be able to set up a partnership, partners are advised to sign a partnership deed. A partnership deed is an agreement which outlines the terms and conditions of a partnership business. What are the contents of a partnership deed? There are some essential details of a partnership deed, such as the amount of capital contributed by each partner, the sharing of tasks among each partner, the way of sharing profit and losses among the partners. Some features of a partnership are Capital is contributed by all partners. There is joint ownership of the business. And all partners share risk and rewards of the business. Advantages of a partnership Some benefits that a partnership enjoy are Sharing of losses among partners More capital can be raised than a sole trader Share responsibilities among partners. Each partner can specialize in one task. Share knowledge and ideas. And decisions are taken together. Disadvantages of a partnership. Some drawbacks of partnership are Disagreements, that is, conflicts, among partners. Suffers from unlimited liability. Lack of continuity, which means that if one partner dies or retires, the business dies. And sharing of profit. How to select between a sole trader and a partnership business? When setting up a business, an entrepreneur must consider the advantages and disadvantages of the two types of business organizations. Here are some additional links that you can refer to. Well, we have reached the end of this lesson. Hope you have enjoyed it. Until the next, see you soon!